Uh, hello everyone, my name is Rick Pasek, a fly fish fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Um, today we're going to tie a little grub pattern, just a little, uh, a little a tiny little grub for, uh, it's actually not that tiny, it's actually fairly large for, for a river fly here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a nice little grub for the rivers. Um, I actually have caught fish on this under an indicator right at the bottom um, in the lakes as well. So um, before we get started, if you subscribe, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. Give this uh, video a thumbs up. It just helps me grow the channel. So, alrighty, here we go. So in the vise today, I've got a size eight curved nymph hook uh, from Mustad. I don't know the number, but whatever. Um, whatever, whatever curved nymph hook you like. This one's a Mustad. Uh, I've got some hens ones, but they're too they're too small for this pattern. So, so next step is I'm going to use some sticky flat, sticky back flat lead. Uh, this stuff happens to be from Zemperfly, but so I'm just going to cut myself a little eighth of an inch or so th wide strip and then taper it off to nothing. So that's what I've cut, just so you guys can see. And it's got the sticky back on it, so I'm going to stop, start back here, just hold it onto my hook and wrap it forward, touching wraps. Don't worry about what it looks like, it's all going to get covered. So, not going to see this at all. This just for that extra weight, and it's going to be for building a bit of a shape here as well. So, I'm going to stop there. Now, I'm going to come up about a wrap, wrap and a half of where I was, and I'm just going to build a bit of a another one. And I'm going to stop about a wrap, wrap and a half short, about there. And then I'm gonna maybe if I can get another, uh, got another longer one there. Now I'll have to use this one just to build that that little bit of a back, right? Because you want that that shape, that grub shape, and that's it. So there you go. So don't worry. Like I said, don't worry about what it looks like. It's not a huge deal. I could put a little bit of crazy glue on. Actually, I will just so you guys can see. Well, maybe I won't. My crazy glue looks like it's spilt and stuck to my thing. So. Um, I won't do that, but must have bumped it or something and had the lid open, whatever. That sucks, so I guess I, I guess I know what I'm doing after this video. So, counterclockwise spin, just to flatten it a bit, just go up and over top of all of this. And obviously, I'm going to want to cover all of this, right, as I don't want any of it to be seen, because I want this green, this, uh, um, this is a, um, Zemperfly classic waxed in a chartreuse. So I want this to show through. This is this is what makes the underbody color show through, right? So you want to just get a nice coverage here. I mean, if you don't get every little thing, it's not <laughs> going to hurt. Um, but just keep giving your your thread a bit of a counterclockwise spin to flatten it out sorry about my finger in there it's just uh, makes things a little easier for me so and then just continue building it up and using your thread as well to build up the shape that you like right I want that thin fat thin that's what I want right so Nice and fat here in the middle. Oops. Not going around like that. Just one last trip up and down just to make sure. Counterclockwise. thicker there we go yeah there we go that's looking better so I'm gonna stop about there now I'm gonna take some of this Kylie's nymph skin and natural latex so I've got a piece here where's the shorter piece I'll use this one doesn't really matter and then I'm just gonna cut this at a real nice taper here 
Okay, I just want that, a nice little tie-in point. And then I'm gonna catch that tie-in point right there, just so you guys can see I just caught it. Okay, and I'll give it another couple of wraps, and then I'm gonna start pulling really hard. I'm going all the way back past where I stopped with my thread. There we go, and then I can let go. Now I'm gonna come forward. Again, this is another opportunity to, to flatten your thread and fill up any little holes that you have, if there is any, which on this one is not, so that's good. I'm gonna come all the way back up to the very, very front here, and then I'm gonna just do one half hitch. Okay, Oop. <laughs> let that go. So just to get it, so you don't, because you, I, I do have a tendency of bumping this when I'm doing this one. So now, it doesn't matter which way you wrap, that's up to you. I'm gonna get my first wrap going, give it a nice, good stretch. Make sure you don't have any cuts in this stuff, because if you have a cut in it, <laughs> it'll rip at this point, because now you want to overlap, and I want to be tight at the back. And then as I go towards that center, I'm going to, slowly loosen off how much tension I've got on this latex. See how I'm, how I'm loosening it off there? So now it's getting thicker as I come up. And now I'm gonna start slowly tightening up again. So I get that, that thinner profile as I go down towards my front end here. Okay, well maybe two more, maybe one more here. Okay, now I'm fairly tight now. Tight, hold her tight. Three times in front, uh, behind, sorry. Three times, four times in front. One time behind, one time in front, one time behind, one time in front. And it is really important with this stuff to do this step. Because now I'm gonna come back over it just a little bit. Create just a little bit of a head. Turn this upside down and then really carefully here with a sharp pair of scissors, sharp tip, just very gently just cut a little bit at a time. If you cut too much of this while you're pulling, it will suck back in. And it sucks if that happens. So there, okay. Flatten my thread a little bit. It's gonna come back just a, about a, a little bit more, maybe a quarter inch or so. Okay, now I'm gonna take, I wanna just have, a, I have just a hint of legs on there. And I know you want this to sink, and I know CDC doesn't sink, but I just want that little whiff of hair, of legs. And I mean, just a whiff. So I'm just taking a tiny little feather here. Just gonna catch that in, a couple, three, four turns. And then I'm gonna pull that back, because I don't want them even close to that long. Just want some short little a hint of legs. That's all I want. Like that. That's good. So I'm going to do a couple more turns there. Back towards the legs. Nip off the CDC, the extra. Don't throw that stuff away. It's good dubbing. Okay. Now I'm going to take a felt. I could change threads, but... I'm just going to take a felt, mark it up nice and black, just a sharpie, that's all this is, okay? Um, I could change threads, like I said, but it's just, this is just as easy, actually probably easier, <laughs> so just going to now build up a bit of a black head area here, and if you start seeing the green coming again, just put more felt on like there. You guys are getting excited, especially here in Western uh, Canada and stuff. It's getting warmer and warmer and days are getting longer and longer. So you know what that means. We can hopefully get our butts out and start fishing again fairly soon. So hopefully, knock on wood. I mean, it's still in the negatives here in Alberta, but. Okay, 
just the last little bit of uh, black there. Little tiny bit of Sally Hansen's right onto the thread. Whip finish. Don't drop your whip finishing tool. I will whip finish. Been doing a lot of work with uh, dubbings and hairy stuff, so there's a little bit of hair getting onto this, but that's okay because I will clean that up in a second. Get that out of the way. Take my trusty lighter. Make sure my my CDC's out of the way. Just run that right under there, and you're done. You are finished. You have a finished product there. So it's um, a nice, heavy little. Nice heavy little pattern. These legs will give impart some movement and they'll actually catch some of the light as well. Um, if you want stiffer legs, you can use like a pheasant or, or like black, dyed black pheasant or or even like a, a hackle fibers, take, taking a, a, a um, hackle feather. Let's see if I've got one yet right there in my garbage, in my waist here. Yeah, you can take like a, a hackle fiber, right? And just have a couple of, just take two or three of the little legs and do that as well I just really like what the what the uh, CDC does it just brings in that extra little bit of shine and that little color and it catches light and it moves really well so alrighty well I hope you guys enjoyed that one if you did thumbs up um, if you subscribed once again thank you if you have not please consider doing so it really helps the channel uh, give it some likes give it some comments shares uh, helps the channel uh, grow and uh, um, yeah, and also guys go over to sports fishing on sport fishing on the flies uh, channel I uh, I've just become pro staff with them and I'm gonna be posting probably two maybe three videos a month over there as well So check it out Alrighty guys tie lines 